There are great entrepreneurs in, in everywhere in the world, <clears throat> but most of the entrepreneurs are in the developing countries. There are more professional management in the in the West, but in the East, like Africa <clears throat> or the uh, Middle East, China. We have a lot of Indian boxing. We have a lot of entrepreneurs and. Uh, <clears throat> Second, uh, I think the government should, if, if the government want economy to grow good, do not trust themselves too much, they should trust the market. Trust the market means trust the entrepreneurs. Any government spend resources on training, developing, encouraging, make business friendly policy for entrepreneurs, this country will go up. So I think Middle East, I've been there some countries for two or three times. I found a great entrepreneurs there. The, um, the thing is that they were, the government, um, most of the oil com com countries, they are too rich. They're not care about the small, tiny. This is no good. They have to pay attention to small business. Last century, the bigger the better. This century, the smaller the better. Last century, you have to be a strong company. This century, you have to be a good company. A good company means you care, your employee, your family, your friends, your customers. If you're comfortable, not necessarily be that big. Not, don't, don't, think about, don't think about Alibaba, Amazon, Microsoft. Just to think about, I enjoy my life. This is, uh, I come to this world not to make a career. I come to this world to enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. And I make a good company. When the company is good, it will be strong. So I think um, Middle East, a huge potential, but um, the technology, they have to embrace it, yeah. If you were to start a new company today, hypothetically, so the Jack Ma today, 2019, if you were to start a new company today from scratch, and if you were to go to like, you know, pitch at Davos, what would you do and how would you incorporate this philosophy of learning from failures <coughs> over the last 20 years? Yeah, first, if I start it again, I will, today, I will not move you on the internet because there are so many smart people there. I go to the agriculture industry and these areas. Because to compete with this, not easy. And second is that whether I have a Jack Mars experience. I mean, experience means my experience when problem comes, I never scared. When problem comes, I say, hey, let's wait a minute. Now, what's the opportunity behind it? And when mistake makes, we'll see how we face it. Why I still encouraging every young people when you become a business leader? Do not always follow the successful stars. For those people who are successful, there are a lot of reasons behind it. But learn from those people who fail. For all the failure mistakes are almost the same. Study that. Not because you can avoid the mistakes. It's because when the mistake comes, when failure comes, how you face it. I will, my, um, my next life, I will be a business people again. And um, good experience, good experience. It's not how much money you've made. It's not about um, <clears throat> how famous you are. It's about how much experience you have encountered. I feel so proud for so many tough situations come. My team work together. We overcome that. And we found a lot of mistakes, silly mistakes. We laughed. We, we are writing a book, right? We tried to recall, you know, remember all the silly mistakes, then share with the others. Don't laugh. One day you will make the silly mistake like us again. <laughs> what are your thoughts about bringing more of the private sector and creating a, a curriculum perhaps under Alibaba for high school students to understand more about entrepreneurship, e-commerce? Because I know you do a lot of work in supporting Alibaba an Entrepreneurship Fund, but what if there is an opportunity to work with younger students and create a school for them? What are your thoughts about that? Thank you. I already created a kindergarten, a primary school, a middle school, and a high school. Because <laughs> I think we have to do something to change. Because we say, oh, I change. And then people say, Jack, well, how you change? What does school look like? So we build up a school, a kindergarten, uh, primary school first. 
And I say in China because it's all about schools. Hmm. If you have a good school, you gotta go. This is a very Chinese you know, way. And I say my school, the people who join in, we interview the parents, oh, wow. right? So we, this school, when this finish, they will not be able, to, when they have a testing, they will not be successful like, like the other school kids. Are you willing to send them here? So at the beginning, people worry, ah, huh, Jack, you know, if you uh, train the students like this way, no people would come in. I said, I don't worry about that because Alibaba have a 40,000 employees in Hangzhou enough, right? And then they say, if you finish the primary school in your school, and then they cannot go to middle school. So we build, I say, oh, let's build a middle school. <laughs> and then they say, if you finish middle school, you cannot build a high school. Let's build a high school. <laughs> then the university. And I say, I don't worry about university. I believe 10 years later, university will accept my students. <laughs> the way training them to be real human, not learning machines. So we're testing that. As, a, as the kindergarten, you have to teach the kids singing, dancing. That's the bury the seeds of culture inside. Primary school, we teach the kids the value. Western, Eastern. I don't want the kids educated in the Western. They don't like the Eastern and the Eastern and they don't like the Western. A lot of people complain about um, China. And I say, have you read Buddhism, Taoism? Confucius? No. Right? You don't know them. A lot of people complain about Western. Nobody ever read the Bibles. How can you complain? I mean, if you know Bible, you know where generally coming from. A lot of people don't like Israel. They don't ever read that. So, the, 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 the middle school guys, they have junior middle school, they have to work in hard. The senior high schools, they have to build interest. Today, the problem is most senior school students the only dream they have, my parents want me to go to a key university. Mm. And what do you want? I don't know, but I just go to university first. That's a problem. So, we need to do something. And I'm happy to hear that you're doing something on that. Yeah, Alibaba is testing that. Um, good news is that uh, we're getting more and more interest. Mm. We only accept a few <clears throat> students, you know, 100 students every year, but the application was huge. The way we teach, we, the bad news is we have not proved that we will be win in 10 years. But I think if you teach your kids to be a real human, it will win. If you teach your kids to be a machine, you don't have a chance. We met a couple of years in your office in Hangzhou, and when I asked you for advice, you said to me very clearly, you said, Renhua, don't study, you know, the businesses that succeed. You know, study the businesses that fail. Yeah. So for all of us, I mean, to, to, from a specific dimension, obviously Alibaba is probably one of the most successful <coughs> businesses of the 21st century. And probably yourself, along with Steve Jobs, have created you know, something which is very visionary to last for another generation. 